sit on please, for Les Fears instructions. Okay, ladies, six rounds. Listen to my instructions. When I ask you to break or stop, I want you to do so, okay? And most importantly, ladies, I want you to protect yourselves at all times, okay? Let's go. Touch them up. Good luck. Amelia did not take her eyes off Connie Brown. Brown, undefeated. Amelia has been in some painfully close uh, losses. Her record already four and three. And, and here we go. So fight two on this Sam Goodman No Limit card. Honey Brown's style is aggressive, all or nothing. Amelia's is the same. Yeah, now it's going to be war, that's for sure. These girls are going to go at it, which they've already started here. It is six rounds. Six twos. The girls fight over two minute rounds, and uh, the men generally fight over three minute rounds. So these two quite experienced in, in four round bouts, but this is now the step up. Nothing landing of consequence yet. And you see them just standing in the middle here. Bit of power in those body shots from Amber Amir as he's, you know, threw a couple of good body shots there and just, you could just hear the power. Amelia last fought four months ago, had a win over Ali Jensen and also fighting around the same time with Brown. And she had a draw against Chloe Gretsch. That was on a, a Sam Goodman card when we were last down here in the gong. Oh, nice right hand there from Connie. For the body there, Brown, but then going up top. Oh, the right hand working for her, for Connie Brown. Certainly coming forward here, pushing Amelia back. A lovely right drive to the body from Connie Brown. So Brown dictating in these very early stages. That right drive to the body is a very debilitating shot that, you know, doesn't look fantastic, but it's easy to land and it does the damage. Amelia, though, won't stop throwing them, even if she's on the back foot. Yeah, no. Nah. She's up for, always up for a real good stash. <clears throat> Ooh, a big right there missing. Nice evasive work, but not that time from Amelia. The combination <coughs> landing from Brown. Yeah, good work from Connie Brown. She turned southpaw just for one split second there. And had a bit of oh. there's, there's that lovely right drive from the body right on the bell. Good finish to the round for the Victoria yep. Connie Brown. Definitely. Probably... Just asserting her authority over those opening couple of minutes. Definitely, Dan. So, thank you inside the Amelia corner here. Is that better? No. Is that better? Okay. We've got to pick the tempo up a little bit. Yep. Okay, we're yep. just a little bit, her tempo is a little bit faster at the moment. Okay. So, pull the trigger a little bit. Be a little bit more sure of yourself. We just moved around a little bit too much. Okay, so now we want to really hone in on those targets. We want to keep the jab working yep. and put the back hand behind it. Yep. Start to build our foundations a little bit. Okay? Yep. Uh, pick up your speed. Yep. And when you throw when you throw your shots, I want to move it up. Okay? You right? How important is that? Clearly there were instructions given, step it up, and there were some technique uh, observations as well, but done very uh -oh. empathetically. How important is that not to be negative? Yeah, no, it's very important. You've got to have a positive corner, but um, to lift the pace, I think, is, is a very good thing to tell Amber. She, uh, her work rate wasn't up to it that first round. So Connie Brown, we think, won the first one. That was Nate Swaddling there with the instructions for Amelia. Brown's got a big engine as well. Amelia can throw can throw often, but so can Brown. Ooh, good. You can see Amelia has stepped it up oh, here in these early left moments. Left hook the body of Amelia. Oh, another nice left to the head. Good work from Amber Amelia here in round two. So, certainly enjoying a bit of time of it there. Better shots from Amelia than in the first round. I'd be telling Connie Brown to work, you know, work that right drive to the body and come up with the left hook after it, because she landed three on beautifully in round one. Nice combination upstairs, then back to the body for Amelia, but Brown comes back <coughs> and pushing forward with that right. Toe to toe, pretty even exchanges at the moment. Oh, the left there getting through from Brown. Yep. And then the overhand right also collecting Amelia. Still 40 seconds to go, 45 in this second round. Ooh. Both girls having their moments this round. Is that right? The body not as good, that one. So body work now from Amelia. Good Left body and work. the right. Much closer around this. 
Really is good question. Can they get through at this pace for all six? Oh, I reckon they can. Now they're good athletes, the girls. They're in, in excellent condition. Both girls, quality, quality boxers. Oh. So punch is about even. Although Amelia oh. made just a touch more impressive, particularly at the finish. Very wow. tight round, round number two. Terrific round. So Connie Brown. Those falls are starting to land. The crosses are starting to land on her, yeah? Especially off those stiff double threes where you're backing her up a little bit. Her left hand starting to drop. I want you to throw that four nice and high. Bounce it off the brow for me, okay? If you want the eye, go higher than the eye, okay? Left starting to drop, she's so screwing up. Stiff double three. Side step. Come in with the four, okay? Keep your left hand up nice and high for me. Just missed them. Missed the mark. Just that left brush ever so gently from Amelia connecting with Connie Brown, who is going six rounds professionally for the first time tonight. And then the right there doing any damage or some damage, if any, there from, from Amelia. So overall, Brown has thrown more punches, but that, that second round is much more even. Straight back into their work, the pair of them. Yeah, going toe to toe. So it was Amelia that was the aggressor coming out of round two. Now Brown's coming out, all guns blazing again. But Amelia following suit. Good right hand, lovely right hand from Amelia. Amelia now putting the pressure on Amber Amelia here. And now, oh, that, that pushed Brown back a little. The straights of Brown not quite getting through, not having the sting. Tight defence there from Amelia. Fires back. Connie Brown putting on the pressure, throwing heaps of shots. Amelia this time coming forward, but they exchange. That Brown right got through briefly and, and ever so gently, but back to being the aggressor. Connie Brown, mother of three. Credit to her. He's putting up a great effort here. Work rate's terrific. Her conditioning's excellent. Amber Amelia moving around the ring, having a look at it. Gets caught against the ropes. Fires back with the left hook. Brown certainly loaded up, but Amelia evaded pretty comfortably. And that again, right. made every shot there miss. Count as well. Good work from Amelia. Oh, lovely. Nice and low, Amelia, and now Brown on the ropes. Lovely left hook the body from Amelia. Those body shots, they do take it out of you as the fight progresses. Better round for Amelia here. Oh, the last nice. 20 seconds. Good left hook the body from Connie Brown. And now Connie Brown really finishing with a flourish here with 10, 10 seconds. Yeah. Ten seconds. This is the stuff that gets in the judge's head. Yep. Uh, that left got through there from Brown. The head, of, the head of Amelia. This is a tough one to score, Barry. I think Amelia pinched that round. You know, I reckon it's one each probably. Really good. Give me a mouth guard. Nah. Water. Looking good out. So that's a better round. Okay? So we've gone from one to three and we've been picking up the tempo. Okay? Now you've got a good judgment of how much you can burn. Radio. So now what we're going to do is we're going to calibrate it a bit. We're just going to move around and move around and defend. Okay, but then when you turn it on, I want you to keep looking for that third and fourth. Okay? Yep. Good. Are you feeling good? Yeah? you got the fight in the palm of your hand, all right? But you, you need to keep taking off. Huh? Yeah, you really look like you're starting to come over the top of them. Yeah. Take your feet with you, Dale. Yeah. All right? So nice high hands when you're not throwing punches. Here we go. Round four. Some pretty straightforward instructions there. They'd be delighted with that last round for sure. The way Amelia stepped it up after being uh, on the back foot in the first round. Yep. Amelia, the white and pink trunks, trunks, brown the black. Connie Brown, keen to get on with it. Get up to, you know, take the fight up to Amelia. Working hard. The only thing about these fights is so close so often. Yes, that, that, they're, they're that, tough. And, and that they don't leave anything in the tank. No yeah. one can sit on a lead. Yeah. Now, they, you've got to give the girls credit. They really, look at this, this is terrific stuff from both girls. But 
Amber and Amelia, again, the better combination there. <coughs> right, big right there, but blocked pretty comfortably. And Brown tries to go down low, but Amelia swats that away, then looks the body herself, Amelia. Nice body shots. It's a big weapon, isn't it? The body shot of Amelia. Amelia. Yeah, she's been working well to the body. But Connie Brown was landing the right drive and not doing it now to the, to the midsection. So Brown was the, the aggressor early, but it seems Amelia yes. is dictating pace at the moment. Yeah, lifted, lifted the pace for sure. And that right snuck through the there from Amelia. Now, stronger shots from the, the pair of them. Now, it's a really well-matched bout. You know, there's, there's not a great deal between the girls, and they're throwing lots of punches with power. Nice rip from the knees. So inside the last 30 seconds now. Oh, good right hand over the top from Amber Amelia. You can see them going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Height very similar. Looking each other in the eye. Now Brown trying to get Amelia on the ropes. But Amelia comes forward and gets away nice from And then comes back and follows up. Good clean shots from Amber Amelia coming up to the bell. Another flourish from both at the end of the round. Yep. We're two-thirds of the way through this very evenly matched affair. And there's Amelia, who started slowly, but has certainly stepped it up. Finished the round very well. So, right now, as the fight goes on, I want you to be really well guarded on the inside, okay? I want you to move with her. So it's defense, it's not just letting them hit us. But every time that she puts pressure on you on the inside, I want you to double it on the inside, okay? And then edge out. She's gonna keep walking forward at you, okay? So we're just gonna turn her. Yeah, okay? Every time you're on the inside, we're going to the left side or we're bringing them up. No more straights, okay, from, from when we're in close. Down and bring them up. Yep. So, so after this fight, it's really the champion, and right now Chanel Dargan. She has the uh, she has the belt. They're all chasing featherweight bout coming up. Yeah, big smile for the camera. So that's coming up next here on Fox Sports as we get ready for Sam Goodman and Liam Wilson and Barry Hall. It's a great card here in Wollongong. Certainly is. Stack card. His Amelia was pinned in the corner just briefly there by Brown, who did get through with a right. A lot of power in that left rip from Amber Amelia. Left rip to the body. And a debilitating shot as well. Amelia doing a good job of keeping Brown at bay. Yes. Now, the more accurate shots for, for my money coming from Amber Amelia. But Connie Brown putting on the pressure. The work rate's terrific, great conditioning. Well, Connie Brown, who's never gone six in a fight, has run two marathons while pregnant. Oh. So you would imagine she could get through. As I'm sure she's going to be fine. Tough as this is, she could get through the next three minutes. Wow, they're going toe to toe, the girls. But she does need to step it up, Connie Brown. It would seem. She is lifting the pace this round. No question. Good rip, left rip from the air. Those body shots, people don't realise how much they take out of you. The instruction from uh, Amelia's corner oh. to be a bit more evasive. Not sure that's the case here. She just wants to exchange. Oh. And now she, she has Brown backpedalling. Brown takes the centre. Oh, nice work from Amber Amelia. She's winning this round on my unofficial card, putting on the pressure, going body and head. We're seeing, you know, all types of combination from both girls. It's a quality display of boxing here. Nothing really that was rocked either fighter. Good consistent uh, punching, but there's a strong combination from Amelia. Closing moments of round five. Big round for Amber Amelia. One round to go here in this six round bout. And it would appear that lady, Connie Brown, needs to really have a big finish. Okay, good. Okay. Watch. Watch. Drink. Watch. Okay. I don't want you to do anything stupid, but I reckon we're probably trailing. All right. 
So, give that work rate that you've got at the moment with her, okay? Give that left hand up, she should wait before you to punch out. Something she's doing when you're starting to attack in the pocket, she's getting down really low, right? Yeah. You've got two options. If you've got the stem of your legs, kick oh. through to the outside of the leg, right? So you've got that cross edge of a chin, you've got your fives. Otherwise, you get down low. Really you. interesting there from the corner of Connie Brown. They think she's got the lead here. Well, I just disagree with them, to be honest. I think yeah, the yeah, judges lot, probably do, but you never know. Okay, let's go. So sixth and final. This is, this is a big round here. It could be very, very close. <laughs> it often is with Amelia. Good, good clean shots from Amber Amelia to start round six. And again, nice overhand right. And then going for the body, but Brown continues to come forward. Amelia, though, keeping her on her toes. Yeah, Connie Brown, you know, she's very aggressive. She throws lots of shots, but a lot of, a lot of them aren't being effective, whereas uh, Amber's are more effective. We're on the verge of our second fight tonight, going the distance. Oh, look at that the overhand right. And again, the power shot certainly dominated by Amelia, it would seem. Yep. The left there from Amelia. Making a good connection. But Brown comes back into the body. Yeah, good stuff from Brown. And then the right over the top getting through. They are tireless, these fighters. But the energy has not sapped at all. Not at all. One, uh, just under a minute remaining, the sixth and final round. These ladies never leave anything in the tank. They'll go hell for leather right to the finish here. Yep, they sure will. Brown's never been beat. Amelia, all her results seem to be close. Are we headed for another one here? <laughs> well, I, you know, could be wrong, but I think Amelia will be in front and we'll get the decision here. In the centre of the ring, these two Warriors continue to trade punches. Inside the last 30 seconds. Can one come up with a devastating blow at the finish here? Brown in the centre, with the big right there. Amelia, make sure she evades that and comes back. The final moments, terrific fight. And they will finish the pair of them standing on their feet. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please have a round of applause for these super bantamweight warriors? After six rounds of action, we go to the judges' court cards for a decision. All three judges scored this competition 59 55 for your winner by unanimous decision. Fighting out of the blue corner, Amber the Pocket Rocket.